What's up everybody, Curtis Desner. Welcome back to another AEW action figure review. Once again, AEW Unrivaled Collection. John Moxley this time, Series 5. And let's get quickly, as you can see, Mox in the package with the AEW Championship. A typical AEW Unrivaled patching, AEW logo up there, Unrivaled Collection down there. His name, John Moxley on the side. Number 37 in the set, Series 5. And there you see Mox with the AW Championship on his shoulder. AW logo. You know, typical back of the pack gen with the picture from the event, which is all out 2020, Jacksonville, Florida. I believe that was a match against MJF. Uh, of course, his name, his picture holding up the belt high. Uh, other figures in the set, we've, of course, Mox, Scorpio Sky, Frankie Kazarian, Hangman, Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy. As of now, the only other one I have got is uh, Luchasaurus, but this set, whole set I might try and get. I already have Series 2 Hangman, so I'm debating it, but I really like the look of this Series 5 Hangman. Uh, Jungle Boy, I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on. Uh, it's just when I picked this and Luchasaurus up in store, uh, I wasn't able to find the Jungle Boy on uh, the shelf. Kaz and Scorpio, I might get. Um, they, like It's from their SEU days. The, they don't really do that gimmick anymore, so maybe I might wait for like a many of the year Scorpio Sky or a Bullet Club Hunter Frankie Kazarian. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I might probably pick him up though if I can get my hands on him. But uh, yeah, uh, that's a quick look at Mox in the packaging. So let's open it up and take a closer look at the figure. Okay, so now we have Mox out of package. Let's take a quick look at what he comes with. First off, he has his uh, signature Mox jacket, as you can see there. Mox sprint. Or painted onto the back just then the front typical black leather jacket uh, as you can kind of see it does kind of have that like spray paint or painted on effect of it which makes it look cool and of course he comes with the AEW World's Heavyweight Championship uh, the one I have the strap is kind of bent a bit there so I need to just try like fix that uh, this is the first time I've gotten the AEW World Championship um with a figure um i think the other, only other ones that came with were was it the series 2 moxley which of course i don't have and the uh, ringside exclusive jericho i believe they're the only two that i can think of that come with this belt uh, so i'm happy to finally add the aw championship to my collection of course like john moxley is a must to have in your aw figure collection the AW Championship is also in another month. Have uh, you need the AW belt with your figures? You see great detailing on it. AW World Saver Championship. Very nice looking belt. Um so yeah, just like how Mox is a must to add to your collection, so is the AW Championship kind of needed. Um taking a look at Mox, uh, kind of basic, uh, just upper body. Um he does have a tattoo on his wrists. I believe he only has it on one of his arms. Um, I think that might be a bit of a mistake. Uh, take a closer look at the head scan. Kind of an angry look on Mox. Um, grinning. Um, as you can see his gear kind of... Uh, I have an image up from uh, All Out. This is the gear he wore. It's kind of similar. Uh, you see the detailing with the white and the yellow in it. Um, of course, then just kind of your black boots. So let's get into the articulation, you know, ballpoint head up and down as well. Rotation in the arms and the shoulder. Uh, upper arm movement as well. And movement in the wrist. Uh, does kind of have a little pivot up there. You can move them forward, bend them forward, bend them back. Uh, rotate at the... There, but you have to be careful because it can pop off. Uh, kind of your typical rotation up there as well, upper thigh movement, double joint in the knee and of course your boot swivel. So uh, yeah, very happy to finally add Mox to my collection. I know this one like Series 2 uh, and kind of like the Dustin Rhodes figure, the scale is a bit off, it's a bit taller than it should be it seems. So um, let me just grab a few figures to compare with. So uh, yeah, here you see Mox next to a elite, uh, well John Moxley elite Dean Ambrose, 
you can see there's a big difference in terms of height um and as well next standing next to kenny the height is very noticeable like even if i just move kenny a bit forward like it's hard to tell it on camera exactly how much of a height difference there is but um there is a big height difference between mox and omega they still haven't fixed that issue with the scale but um yeah, as I said, the John Moxley is kind of a must need to have for an AW figure collection. So I didn't need to pick it up. But uh, yeah, uh, that is it for this video. It's nice. It is a nice looking John Moxley figure, but uh, the height issue, the scale issue is probably the biggest problem I have with it. Uh, again, maybe the tattoo, he doesn't have it on both arms. He just has it on the one, but it's on both. Um, at least I think he only has it on one, but... Um, yeah, anyway, very uh, nice looking gear, good head scan, um, I like the belt, I like the jacket. Uh, so yeah, it is a decent John Moxley figure if you can overlook the scale issue. I don't really mind it too much because it's just going to go onto the shelf. Like if I put it back, it, like towards the back, you won't, like, you won't really notice the scale too much. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.